Okay, so the snow has left us alone. I did spend the morning shoveling, and the temps, <laughs> they are on the rise this week. Meteorologist Stacy Donaldson joins us now. Stacy, warm up is on the way. It really is, and it's a significant one as well. Today, kind of that transition day out of the snowfall and into some warmer weather headed our direction. Tonight, though, temperatures will stay in the 20s all the way through 11 o'clock. We'll have potentially just a few high clouds, otherwise mostly clear skies and chilly conditions. This is what it looks like outside now after a beautiful sunset, those clear skies overhead. And we are in store for a nice warm up here over the next few days. 50s and 60s in the seven day forecast this week, and it will stay sunny and dry primarily all week long here for the Denver area. Highs today, we're only in the 30s here around Denver and across the Eastern Plains. We had some 40s where we had a lot less cloud cover early in the morning. It took a while for the clouds to clear here for the front range. 20s up in the high country and upper 30s out toward Grand Junction for those afternoon highs. Right now we're at 31 in Denver and Centennial and in Aurora, also 31 in Littleton and temperatures in the 20s up toward Boulder, Erie and Thornton. Now off to the west, our Wind chill factor in the single digits and teens. It feels like it's in the 20s here from Denver up into northeastern Colorado. Feels a little colder in Sterling at 19 degree wind chill right now. So you'll need the jacket as you head out the door for this evening. Satellite radar picture is as quiet as can be. This was a fast moving storm and this storm is already down affecting Texas, Louisiana and Arkansas. A lot of rain and snow through these areas. A lot of watches and warnings there as well. So this storm really took a straight beeline down into Texas here from Colorado. As for our future cast, it's going to be quiet in through tomorrow into the afternoon and evening all across the state. So we're expecting clear skies tonight and that means a lot of sunshine into tomorrow. 17 will be our overnight low, mostly clear skies, but pretty chilly for the overnight hours and to start out tomorrow morning. So we'll have 17 here in Denver, 16 in Greeley, five below for Leadville, three below for Eagle, and two below for Steamboat Springs. Those overnight lows will lead to temperatures tonight in the teens and 20s here for the front range, single digits off to the west, and then beautiful sunshine tomorrow. But we'll start out chilly in the 20s by 9 a.m. We'll be in the 40s into the early afternoon with a high around 50 degrees tomorrow during the day, mostly sunny skies. It'll be feeling very mild as compared to what we've had the last few afternoons. Highs in the 40s and 50s here from Sterling to Ray to Burlington into Pueblo even at 49 degrees, and we'll have 50 here in Denver with those 20s and 30s off to the west. So this is what we call a big area of high pressure. It is in control for the next few days, and it's going to block out any stormy weather coming our way. It'll even block out some of this rain and snow headed our direction, but by about Wednesday, Thursday, we could see some light snow in the high country. I don't think we'll see any moisture here until we get into the weekend of this coming weekend. So look at these highs, 50 for tomorrow, 54 on Tuesday, then 60 degrees Wednesday afternoon. We stay in the 50s to round out the week. And by the time we get to Saturday, we have a chance for a few scattered showers moving through a weak system here for the weekend, 54 on Saturday and 48 degrees with partly cloudy skies on Sunday.